Boss Fight Gaming. Get ready. Fight! Hey guys, welcome to Boss Fight Gaming, and today we are doing a review for the game Castle Walker, which arrived yesterday. That is the 9th of September 2022, and it arrived yesterday. So we're going to jump in and do a review of this game. Castle Walkers is now available for Xbox One and Windows 10 amongst other platforms. This 2D pixel action adventure title was created by Desert Water Games using Game Maker Studio 2 I believe. And not much is known about the studio developers at this point, but I'm sure that this is just the beginning of their creative future no doubt. This pixel side scrolling game takes me back to the golden years of gaming. I feel like it's a cross between, somewhere between maybe. Ghosts and Ghouls in Castlevania, but with a very simple concept and structure. Unfortunately though, it's not quite as good as obviously Ghosts and Ghouls or Castlevania. However, this game is still pretty decent to play. Castle Walker comes with just one game mode, which is a single player campaign. Now if graphics are really important to you, visually this game is a basic pixel game. However, the images, the backgrounds and the characters all look good and do their job. Some of the backgrounds in the later levels I really liked and they set the tone for the atmosphere of this magical adventure. Uh, what I mean by that is, for example, on the levels later on, there are like giant sort of reapers in the background and I think it makes it quite eerie and quite different to some other games and like I said, it really does set the atmosphere so it is that to look forward to. So, achievements are available in Castle Hunter and if you're an achievement hunter, You'll either be super happy or super frustrated because all the achievements are very easy to get with no real challenge involved. But it is worth noting that they are really, really easy to get. And it should take you between 10 to 15 minutes at most to get a thousand for a thousand. Also, it's important to note that the controls for this game are very basic and gamers of all levels will be able to pick this up pretty much straight away. I was actually quite impressed with how the sound fits perfectly within the game and its theme. I wouldn't say any of the music or sound particularly stood out to me, but that's not really an issue because it felt very native. Now the story is quite simple, we see a young mage battle their way up through the castle stages to save their companion after an early encounter with an evil overlord of kinds, well at least that's what I thought when I was playing through. The truth is there's not really much of a story to get through as this game is quite short. I think it's about six levels or so, none of which are really that difficult and none of them contain any additional story content. So if you are looking for an engaging story then this probably isn't the game for you. So the price I believe is $4.99. I personally think that's a little bit on the steep side for the amount of content that is available within this game. I feel like around $3.50 would probably be more realistic for the amount of content that is available. Like I mentioned, it does only have one game mode, which is the single player campaign, and it also only has around six levels from what I remember, and none of these are particularly detailed or contain loads of things, and they are pretty straightforward and easy as well. Not easy, but not really difficult either. So, in regards to my overall conclusion for Castle Walker, it's that there, there will be a lot of people who really enjoy this, this sort of nostalgia kick that it brings and I imagine that others will either really like or dislike its overall simplicity and the retro themed graphics and design and the sort of slow pace that it brings. Now there are some issues that I discovered. The game can be quite frustrating. Firstly, you sort of can't jump, move and attack at the same time. You kind of can do a little bit of one or the other, but it, you'll know what I mean if you played it. It's very annoying when you try to jump and attack. Um, some of the levels can be really tricky because of this in certain places, especially ones where you have to jump across platforms that are moving and attack at the same time. Now additionally, I thought there was a need for faster movements in the game. I know the game is called Castle Walker. But I personally found that it was a little bit too slow and the pace actually took away from the overall experience. The attacks in the game are also just two directional so you can either shoot to the left or to the right. You can't shoot up say 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock. It's literally just 3 o'clock. 
and 9 o'clock. Now, I think it would have worked so much better if it was 8 directional firing, so you could shoot in them directions so that at least any enemies that are above you or below you, you could then better target. Now to wrap things up, I would like to point out, I did actually enjoy the game for its simplicity and the easy to grasp controls and mechanics. The story was a little bit too short and the progression didn't really feel that it was getting any dip more difficult. I think this game is perfect for achievement hunters or younger people who are trying to get into the retro type gaming sort of worlds. Uh, I do look forward to the developers future games as I feel they have a brilliant foundation to build on and I believe that this really is just the beginning for this studio and these indie developers. So my overall rating for this game is 5 out of 10. I hope that if the developer does watch this video that they aren't disheartened by that. I think it's a fair score and I hope that they will build on their gaming sort of development in the future and I really do look forward to, to playing games that they create. Thank you very much for watching guys. Guys please take a moment to go over and subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell like, comment, share, etc. For us to continue to make great videos that help you get achievements, we will need your support. So don't be a subscribe and subscribe today. Boss Fight Gaming. You lose. Game over.